morning everyone. Um, today I get to do another little video and I'm out the house whilst I go shopping uh, today for crab. Um, so a friend of a friend uh, who something to do with um, seafood obviously uh, has got some surplus uh, crabs which he's been able to get up to Bristol now. So I'm on my way to collect them. I've got two coming. I've no idea what to do with uh, with crab. They're alive, uh, which means they've got to be dispatched. Um, and uh, yeah, today's video is all about how I do that. Okay, so we just got back and these are the biggest bloody crabs I've ever seen. Um, they're from Salcombe Fish and Shellfish Limited. Um, so thanks very much for them. And I'll show you now. Just look at the size of that crab. Absolute beast. It's so heavy. The size of that, that claw. Um, I'm gonna get this guy um, dispatched and then uh, get him in the pot. Okay, that's the crab gone now. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, you basically just put a screwdriver uh, down through this point here drive it through and then it's dead. So a little bit of nerve movement there. I've got the pan on the boil. However, I'm worried that it's not gonna fit and that is the biggest pan that I have at the moment. So we shall see. So whilst I'm waiting for the water to come back up to temperature, I've noticed that this has definitely been a fighting crab. Uh, so he's lost the end of his uh, claw there. And actually on this side at the back, he lost a leg at some point. So, uh, or she, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the time has come to go in the pan. Unfortunately, the one I've just done, it didn't really fit in the pan, so it didn't really go to plan. Uh, so I'm using this one, but it's not ideal because of how shallow it is. I'm hoping that it will just sort of sit there and then put some more water just to make sure it's covered then get the lid on and hopefully this will work. Okay, here we go then. Yeah, it's not ideal, not at all. Um, okay, let's just get the lid on and see what happens. Okay, so it's halfway through now um, and I've literally, I've just sort of flipped him over. So half one side, half the other. I mean, it's mostly submerged. Um, hopefully that steam is cooking it through. We'll, um, we'll see. Okay, so that's done now. I've got a cold water tap running and we're just gonna cool that down. There we are, so I'm just gonna let that run cool now. Um, and then we'll start cracking it open and getting to the flesh. Right, okay, so after a lot of mess on the first one, I think I've learned a few things now. I really haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So I haven't got any uh, crab forks or anything like that, so I'm just using the end of the spoon. I'm using the pestle um, from the pestle and mortar. Um, and the screwdriver to just unhinge it all and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna put on a time lapse now and you can watch me fumble my way through this. Oh, and that is it. It's done. Uh, the claws are the best bit for me. This brown meat, um, that is not my friend. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'll find someone who likes that. Um, but that is it. Those are the, the crabs. I've made one hell of a mess here today. Um, so I better get this cleared up before she comes home and uh, absolutely annihilates me. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. The, the, when I took the, the shell, the head apart, I nearly threw up. Um, so um, this is delicious. I'm going to love it. Uh, but right now, I just hate the thought of clearing all this up. But uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, no doubt I'll get all the comments coming through about how wrong I did everything. But So I just had some of that crab and it was so good, so good, so fresh, obviously, because it's just been uh, killed and cooked. 
but I take it back. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. 